Ever wonder how our genes shape us? Picture every cell in our body carrying a copy of our genome, an intricate library of over 20,000 genes, and 3 billion letters of DNA. This DNA, a double helix held together by simple pairing rules, A with T, G with C, is the blueprint of who we are. Our genes not only sculpt our individual characteristics, but also our species traits. But that's not all. Genes have a profound influence on our health, acting as silent puppeteers behind the scenes of many diseases. Thanks to DNA sequencing advancements, researchers have been able to identify thousands of these puppeteer genes, revealing their role in our risk of disease. But to truly unlock the secrets of our genes, to understand their whispers and commands, researchers need to control them to edit their script. But altering genes in living cells? That's no easy task. Enter CRISPR, a game-changing method that opens up new horizons in editing DNA of any species, humans included, originating from a natural system bacteria used to protect themselves from viral infections. The CRISPR method is an ingenious approach to gene editing. Picture this. A bacterium detects the presence of virus DNA. In response, it produces two types of short RNA, one of which contains a sequence matching that of the invading virus. These two RNAs then form a complex with a protein called Cas9, a nucleus, an enzyme that can cut DNA. When the matching sequence, known as a guide RNA, locates its target within the viral genome, Cas9 swings into action, cutting the target DNA and effectively disabling the virus. In recent years, researchers have realized that this system can be engineered to cut not just viral DNA, but any DNA sequence at a precisely selected location. How? By simply changing the guide RNA to match the desired target. This is not just a theoretical process in a test tube, but a practical one that occurs within the nucleus of a living cell. Once inside the nucleus, the resulting complex locks onto a short sequence known as the PAM. The Cas9 then unzips the DNA and matches it to its target RNA. If the match is complete, the Cas9 will use two tiny molecular scissors to cut the DNA. When this happens, the cell attempts to repair the cut. However, this repair process is not perfect and is prone to errors, leading to mutations that can disable the gene. These mutations can help researchers understand the function of the gene, opening up a world of possibilities for studying and potentially rectifying genetic diseases. The CRISPR method is a powerful tool in our genetic toolkit, revolutionizing our ability to edit genes and understand their functions. This process, which can occur within the nucleus of a living cell, leads to mutations that can disable the gene, helping researchers to understand its function. Scene script. Sometimes, though, researchers need precision. They need to replace a mutant gene with a healthy copy. That's where the true power and potential of CRISPR technology come into play. Imagine a manuscript and you want to correct a single typo. In the grand scheme of the manuscript, this typo is minute, but it can change the entire meaning of the sentence. That's essentially what we're doing with CRISPR. We're replacing a tiny, erroneous part of the DNA sequence with the correct version, a process known as precise gene replacement. So, how does this work? It starts with an additional piece of DNA that carries the correct sequence, a healthy copy of the gene. This DNA template is introduced into the cell along with the CRISPR system. Once the CRISPR system has made its cut, this DNA template is ready to pair up with the cut ends. It's like a puzzle piece perfectly fitting into its designated spot. The cell's natural repair mechanisms then go to work, recombining and replacing the original sequence with the new, correct version. This precision isn't limited to a single gene or a single cell type. Imagine the potential of applying this to stem cells, which have the ability to transform into a myriad of different cell types. By editing the genes in stem cells, we can potentially alter the fate of these cells and the organisms they belong to. The power of CRISPR also extends to the creation of transgenic animals. By introducing precise genetic changes into a fertilized egg, we can create animals 
with targeted mutations. This opens up a whole new world for studying disease models and potential treatments. And here's the real game changer. CRISPR can target multiple genes simultaneously. This is a significant advantage in studying and potentially treating complex diseases that are caused not by a single mutation, but by the interplay of many genes. CRISPR's potential is vast, from basic research to drug development, agriculture, and perhaps eventually treating human patients with genetic diseases. The future of genome editing is not just coming, it's here.